Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our YouTube channel, where we embark on a literary journey through the fascinating pages of The Anthropocene Reviewed by the brilliant John Green. Prepare to be captivated by a thought-provoking exploration of our current era, The Anthropocene, as John Green masterfully weaves together the intricate threads of human history, nature, and the impact we've left on the world. In this captivating book, Green skillfully combines his unique blend of wit, intellect, and empathy to dissect the profound complexities of our modern age, examining various facets of human life and the environment that define the Anthropocene. From quirky, seemingly trivial topics to profound existential reflections, the Anthropocene Reviewed serves as both a poignant memoir and a profound commentary on our place in the grand tapestry of time. Join us as we delve into this literary masterpiece, fostering engaging discussions and sharing the sheer brilliance of John Green's words that resonate deep within our hearts and minds. Let's embrace this enlightening journey together, celebrating the art of storytelling and the human experience in the Anthropocene. The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green is an intellectually stimulating and emotionally poignant collection of essays that explores various aspects of human life and the impact of human activity on the environment in the Anthropocene epic. The book comprises 15 insightful essays, each reviewing different topics on a five-star scale, ranging from seemingly mundane topics like Diet Dr. Pepper and Haley's Comet to profound subjects such as the extinction of the Neanderthals and the QWERTY keyboard. In the essay, QWERTY Keyboard, Green delves into the history of this ubiquitous layout and reflects on the complexities of technological change and the enduring influence of outdated designs. He contemplates the intriguing balance between the efficiency of a system and the inertia of its widespread adoption. In Haley's Comet, Green delves into the historical significance of this celestial event and its connection to human fascination and mortality. He contemplates the ephemeral nature of existence and the shared experience of witnessing a comet that has recurred throughout generations. Throughout the essay, Green uses Haley's Comet as a metaphor for the impermanence of life and the universal longing for meaning and connection. By exploring the historical accounts and cultural impact of the comet's appearances, he prompts readers to contemplate the passage of time and the human desire to find significance in our brief existence. Ultimately, Haley's Comet serves as a poignant reflection on the intersections of science, history, and human emotion, inviting us to ponder our place in the vast cosmic tapestry of the universe. Prom explores the concept of high school proms and their bittersweet significance. Green examines the paradoxical nature of these events, combining both joy and sadness, and how they symbolize the passage of time and the fleeting moments of adolescence. Green delves into the dark and tragic history of the Indian residential school system in Canada in the essay, Indian Residential Schools. He examines the devastating impact these institutions had on indigenous communities, reflecting on the lasting consequences of colonialism and the need for acknowledgement and reconciliation. In The Extinction of the Thylacine, Green explores the poignant story of the Tasmanian tiger and its eventual extinction, raising questions about humanity's responsibility towards preserving biodiversity and learning from our past mistakes. He mournfully narrates how relentless hunting, habitat destruction, and disease brought about the thylacine's demise, leading to its eventual extinction in the early 20th century. Through this poignant story, Green highlights the far-reaching consequences of human actions on the delicate ecosystems and wildlife that once thrived on this planet. Googling strangers, delves into the power of the internet in connecting people across the world, while also highlighting the risks and challenges that come with this virtual interconnectedness. He prompts readers to consider the ethical implications of seeking information about strangers online and emphasizes the importance of empathy and respect in the digital realm. He reflects on how the digital age has transformed the way we interact with and perceive others, offering both the possibility of forming new connections and the risk of invading others' privacy or creating misconceptions based on limited information. The essay delves into the complexities of virtual relationships, highlighting the need for empathy, understanding, and responsible online behavior in an increasingly interconnected world. Green examines the fascinating history and science of sunsets in Sunsets, exploring their beauty, cultural significance, and the changing perspectives of human perception through time. Throughout the essay, Green delves into the cultural and artistic symbolism of sunsets, exploring their representation in various works of literature, art, and music. He highlights the transient nature of sunsets and the profound emotions they stir within us, making them a timeless metaphor for the fleeting moments of joy, beauty, and melancholy in life. In Auld Lang Syne, 
Green delves into the poignant emotions evoked by this iconic song, reflecting on the passage of time, the yearning for nostalgia, and the universal desire for connection and belonging. He ponders the idea of collective memory and the power of music in bringing people together across generations. The essay invites us to embrace the shared humanity woven into the fabric of this classic song and to celebrate the connections that endure beyond the boundaries of time and distance. Green also addresses the complexities of human achievement and ambition in the essay, A Man of the People, exploring the life of Canadian Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau and the inherent contradictions of leadership and legacy. Green reflects on Trudeau's rise to power and his charismatic leadership, which earned him both devoted admirers and vocal critics. Through Trudeau's story, Green contemplates the challenges of navigating the pursuit of power and the ethical implications of political decisions. In Mesa Verde, Green visits the ancient cliff dwellings in Colorado and reflects on the significance of preserving cultural heritage and the delicate balance between human progress and environmental preservation. Throughout the essay, Green immerses us in the majesty of Mesa Verde and underscores the need to protect our shared history and the natural world. He encourages readers to embrace a deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness of human civilization and the environment. Green shares his personal journey with OCD, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, in OCD, offering an intimate and insightful perspective on mental health, vulnerability, and the challenges of living with this condition. He sheds light on the pervasive nature of OCD, where intrusive thoughts and compulsive behaviors can disrupt daily life and lead to emotional distress. By sharing his story, John Green encourages readers to be more understanding and supportive, fostering a world where mental health is embraced with empathy and treated with the care and respect it deserves. In Tetris, Green explores the enduring popularity of this simple yet addictive video game and its metaphorical resonance in our lives, symbolizing the struggle to find order and balance amidst chaos. Tetris serves as a reflection on the power of video games and pop culture to transcend mere entertainment and offer deeper insights into the human psyche. By exploring the timeless appeal of Tetris, John Green reminds us of the universality of the human experience and the profound lessons we can learn from the most unexpected sources. Air conditioning, investigates the history and impact of this ubiquitous modern convenience, examining how it has shaped human comfort and influenced societal development. He reflects on the complex relationship between technology, progress, and environmental consequences, noting the exponential growth in energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions associated with widespread air conditioning use. Through this exploration, Green prompts readers to consider the delicate balance between human comfort and the ecological cost of our modern lifestyle. Green contemplates the profound beauty and fragility of human achievement in The Anthropocene Reviewed, a review where he revisits the concept of the Anthropocene and the human capacity for both creation and destruction. Finally, in Diet Dr. Pepper, Green humorously reviews this beloved soda while also delving into the intricacies of taste and the broader implications of consumer culture. Green examines the quirks and unique qualities of Diet Dr. Pepper, playfully dissecting its taste and appeal. He reflects on the cultural significance of soda as a ubiquitous product of modern consumerism, noting its role as a source of comfort and nostalgia for many. Through this seemingly lighthearted review, Green draws attention to the broader themes of marketing, advertising, and the power of brands in shaping our preferences and identities. The Anthropocene Reviewed is an eloquent and deeply introspective collection of essays that invites readers to ponder the intricate connections between humanity and the world we inhabit. With his signature blend of wit and compassion, John Green prompts us to consider our place in the grand tapestry of existence and the responsibility we hold towards shaping the future of the Anthropocene. Before we bring this voyage through, the Anthropocene reviewed, to a close, I want to extend my heartfelt thanks to each and every one of you for your active participation and thought-provoking discussions. Our collective exploration of this book's profound themes and insights has been nothing short of inspiring. Thank you all for being a part of this unforgettable experience. Let's continue to cherish the gift of literature and embark on new adventures that broaden our perspectives and enrich our lives. Until we meet again, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep making the world a better place.